We're here at the Senior Bowl Media Breakfast with Yaya Diaby out of Louisville. So, Yaya, first off, take me through just kind of your story. How'd you get to this point? Where'd you start? How'd it go for you? Okay, so I, I, I came from North Clayton High School in Atlanta, and nice little small school in Clayton County, you know, get overlooked a lot. So, coming out of high school, I really didn't get, you know, the schools. So I had to take another route. So I went to a junior college for two years, Georgia military. It was an amazing experience there. And I'm thankful for them guys for giving me the opportunity to play there. And then after that, I'm at Louisville, you know. I had a coach, Coach Ivy, Mark Ivy. Really, really loved that guy. You know, he recruited me really hard. And I just appreciate him for giving me the opportunity to play at Louisville. So I used to live in Milledgeville. So, oh, okay. oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So GMC, take me through. I know you got to be a dog to make it in JUCO, yeah. but from your perspective, just that experience of making it out, making it to this level, just take me through it. Man, it's so crazy because most most people don't know when, when you go to um, Georgia Military, your first year, you got to be in the, what they call a barracks, where you got to get up for formation. You got to march. You got to do all types of things. So my first year, I had to go there, I had to cut my hair and move into the barracks and it was a it was a, you had to be strong to make it make it make it that that first year. Sure. So in terms of your development physically of you know looking like you do now with the wingspan and all of that, when did the development come for you just on that side of things? Um just I would say I would say just I don't know. Just uh it just came, you know, just work. The work and the and the growth and it just that's how it was. Gotcha. So now getting to this point, you measure in at the Senior Bowl. You've gone through a practice. What have you gotten to do? What's the process been like here for you? Just now looking at the first couple of days. Um, I'm just trying to be a sponge. I'm trying to be a sponge. Take everything in. Take all the coaching in. And you know, some of the coaches they look for different things that my coach at Louisville look for. So. It's just a process that I have to adapt to and, and just keep keep getting better um, practice by practice and show show the scouts that I'm that deal. For sure. So Louisville as a program, seems like it's on the come up, won some big games last year towards the end of the season. So from your perspective, just how do you view the outlook for that program, just what they can do going forward now? Man, them guys, them guys had a really good recruiting recruitment this season this off season and and I'm very excited for what to come come there and I feel like the defense the defense is going to be the spotlight again again this this upcoming season and I'm excited to see see my guys my guys go to work okay and who are some guys we should watch on the defensive side or people we should look out for I would say I would say Ashton Gelati, Mason Ryger, Desmond Tell you got KJ Cloyd, you got Jared Dawson, all these, all these dominant, violent guys. I just know for sure the front, the front seven, the front seven is gonna, gonna do some damage, some real damage. Gotcha. So for you now, you're preparing for the NFL draft. You went the JUCO route. What's your message to some of those guys that are in high school that might be looking at JUCO or talking about it? Just what's your message or advice to them? about how to make it from that point? Hey, I would just say, don't listen to the outsiders. Man, everybody have their own journey. Everybody have a way they want to get to the next level. If you have to take that journey to go ju Juco first, do it, man, do it. It was the best experience for me and it made me who I am today. And, you know, I just just love it. Sure. So when people ask, who is Yaya Diaby off the field? What would you say? Uh, just a chill guy. Um, always, always trying to find things to get better on and improve on. So, just try to stay out the way and and be the best player I can be. Awesome. And then, any hidden talents or things outside of football that you're really good at? I'm a football player. I can. <laughs> I would say some people would look at my size, probably be like, "Oh, he probably can't dunk," but I could dunk. Yeah. I could dunk. You know. I can, I can get active and on a basketball court. For sure. 
And then my final question, your message to scouts, GMs, everyone in the NFL, what's your message about who you are and what you're all about? Um, I'm just a, I'm a coachable. I'm a coachable player to start with. Um, I'm a leader. I bring I bring I bring a lot to the table. I, I get other guys to buy in. I get um, other guys to see themselves in a better in a better spot. I'm not just a, a guy that just if I got the starting spot, I'm not going to look out for somebody that I'm um, under me un behind me and just be like, yeah, I'm not going to help them. I'm always trying to help. I'm always trying to improve, improve on the team. And just if you get a guy like me, just know I'm coming to work every day. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for your time and good luck. Yes, sir. Thank you.